Hey YouTube, it's Hindred, and in this episode of Octave Discussion, I'm not really going to be teaching a song, but more of pretty much re-going over what I've said in previous episodes, like episode one and stuff. Um, but before I do, I just want to say I'm learning songs to be able to play for the channel as well as teach, because I've said in the previous episode I'm spending a little time since I've... Uh, Played, so I have to brush up on songs as well as learn new ones just so I could play for you guys but anyways in this episode um, I just wanted to re-go over for newer um, Ocarina S uh, for those who wonder what um, you know what Ocarina they should start off with the, the most common one at least that I've seen would be usually like a 12 hole because the Zelda replica a lot of them come in 12 hole and then there's four hold ocarinas that I know quite a few people use and I feel like those would be pretty decent to start off with because they're not too hard to learn and I don't know if every ocarina comes with a little songbook but I know the replica does and I've uh, mine is a repli Zelda replica but mine's ceramic like mine's like a good ocarina and what I mean by good is, if you get a cheap one, usually it'll be like plastic or it might not be well made. So it'll give you more of a whistly sound than like a sound that you're looking for. And But if you go ceramic, of course those are going to be a little more expensive because it's ceramic. But, you know, for starting off, you don't have to fork out, you know, a hundred plus bucks for an ocarina you can it doesn't matter if you go cheap if you're new because you're learning i, I don't expect you to fork out like 400 to a thousand bucks on a guitar if you're learning just learning you know it's perfectly fine to get you know for guitars case usually you would spend about a hundred bucks for a cheap one but you know i'm just using an example if you're just learning it's okay to you know pay a hundred for a guitar because you're learning and then once you get better, of course, you can fork out. But it also depends. You have to also take into account what tone you're looking for. If you're looking for a lower or a higher tone. And you have to take into account what you're learning you want to learn how to play. And that should really go into, okay, this is what I want to learn how to play. I want to learn how to play a lower toned lower tone songs so I want this ocarina or you know because you, there's the tenors the sopranos and everything to and fro so it's just really that and you know t starting with 12 hold or 4 hold or anything in between it's not too bad because you don't want to start off with a double or triple ocarina be well I mean you can if you really want to just strive do it I'm by all means, if you want to, go for it. But starting with a lo like four, anything between four and twelve, will help you at least learn so that you can jump. And for any experienced ones, uh, ocarinists that are just debating on what they want to go into, and this can apply to newer ocarinists too. It just depends on also how you how much you want to challenge yourself to play. But yeah, for newer ones. 4 to 12, if you really want to challenge yourself, you can jump up in holage too. But just a short little video of my opinions on it since I've I've actually I haven't been super consistent, but I have been playing for years, so that's my opinion. And I know there's a few Cronus that have similar opinions, but this is mine. So this is just a short little thing for my octave discussion catch you guys in the next episode see you guys later